It's cruising the continents, and this year we're going to the ocean. So we're going to make ocean animals tessellations. Now the definition of a tessellation says it's the process or art of tessellating a surface or the state of being tessellated. That means it's an arrangement of shapes closely fitted together, especially of polygons, in a repeated pattern without gaps or overlapping. So I got on the internet and found some tessellations. These will be your choices. There is a sea turtle and a different type of sea turtle, a whale and a different type of a whale. Here is a seahorse and here's a seahorse that's a little more rounded. It might be easier to cut out a stingray, a different type of fish and a dolphin. I chose to do this seahorse and so what I'm going to do first is take my scissors and cut these two parts apart. I'm going to keep the left hand side one so that if later I get stuck and aren't sure how things fit together then I can have that to look at. Now I sped up the cutting part a little bit but I do want you to notice as I cut through that I'm trying my best to cut right in the center of that thick black line because I felt like that would help me later. Now you'll notice that as I'm cutting, every now and then parts that are around it start getting in the way. And so then I go through and I just cut parts off if they're getting in the way too much. So feel free to do that yourself too. Okay, now you have your cut template, a pencil, a paper, and your tessellation to look at. And I'm noticing that on this tessellation, the tails all go together of the seahorse. So I'm going to hold this very still, and I'm going to trace very carefully around the entire template. Okay, now as I look at the template on the left, I notice that it's gonna fit in in this direction. So I'm gonna put it in, it's kind of like a puzzle piece, and then I'm gonna hold it very still, and you're gonna notice my pencil is straight up and down again, so I can be consistent with that. And I'm gonna trace very carefully around the entire template once again. Okay, now this is my finished tracing. I can go back in and add all the details. Now you get to choose an animal to make your own ocean animal tessellation.